Before the UFO of higher frequency leave, your flesh begins to bleed. Shut a glass in your eyes, there's no way to see. The only thing that will be is energy. Hypnotize my right. Hypnotize my right. Yeah. Hypnotize my right. Yeah. Hypnotize my mind. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hypnotized by mind, my mind. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Peace, peace, family. Back with another video. It's your boy Phoenix. Back with the fire, man. Tell you, I'm never stopping. I'm never, it's like, I was called to do this. I'm never stopping. I'm never, ever stopping. So don't expect that. Expect something else. Anyway, I want to give thanks to the ancestors like we do in every video. Like I told you on my last video, as y'all just heard, the white woman, my smoke detector, is something is off with it. So, but y'all going to be hearing her throughout the video. So she's a part of the video now. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm going to give thanks to the ancestors. Um, of course, every video. Um, but I'm going to just hop straight into this uh, particular topic, right? Okay, all right. Now, people that, you know, not familiar with me or my channel, y'all see me. It's the earring shining, chains, you know, I got the, got the goddess on me, whatever, right? Um, and many of y'all associate that with a lot of things. And it's not just ignorant, lost people. It's some of you woke people, too. And some of you woke people that still see gold jewelry um earrings as um something negative and i want y'all to tell i want i want y'all to know y'all niggas still lost too i'm never going to stop wearing jewelry i'm never going to stop wearing big ass earrings i'm never going to stop wearing you know gold chains silver chains diamonds crystals whatever here's why um for those of y'all that don't really know history, y'all need to find it. Get out the Bible, pick up some other books, and read. And not just read, just look at the people and look how they looked, right? So, let's just go to recent mo uh, um, movements. A lot of y'all always uh, speak about the street mentality or that. Let me just say this, right? This whole innovative, conscious, woke thing will never be complete until the streets catch on to it. That's facts. I'm not arguing with you niggas. Until street dudes adapt or be taught um, in, you know, intellectual properties of life, history, Science, math, technology, until the streets catch on to that, we would never, ever thrive. Because one thing that, because I'm from the projects, you know, I've lived in the suburbs. I'm honest. I live in the suburbs. I live in, in the hood. I'm very well balanced. I got friends that's in the trenches, as we, as we on this phone, in the trenches, making a living. I have friends that's in college that never been in the trenches. I'm the best of both words. I'm going to just tell you this now. It's something that people cannot really tangibly explain that street dudes have that no, not just street, that black street dudes have. Now, when I'm saying street, you have street dudes and you have active street dudes. You know, just because you from the streets, that don't mean you was active. I'm, I'm from the streets, but I wasn't out here selling. I didn't, I wasn't doing none of that. I held my own. I was playing ball, and I was being, and I was doing public speaking. That's what people know me for, and that's what I stick to. Now, my brother, some you know, some of my men, some of my close homies, they was actually active. Now, before we even continue with this conversation, a lot of y'all niggas need to embrace just being a. Well, I'm from the projects, but I wasn't active in the projects doing street shit. Before we even dive further in this topic, y'all need to own that. Cause some of you niggas just, just think y'all Scarface and, and Pablo Escobar and you really not. And it's fine that you not. It stops at first. Now, with that being said, right? Here's what's important. What I was saying. It's something. It's a frequency. 
I call it the warrior spirit, spirit, excuse me, that street dudes have that no other man possess. I don't give a fuck what you niggas say. I don't care about the mob. I don't care about the the the, the military. Salute to y'all that's holding it down. Um, the SWAT, the FBI, LAPD is something that the been in the project possess that no other humanoid possess. Now, when you take away your jewelry and your chains and whatever you rock, um, that's that doesn't always break you. But okay, for instance. Gold carry frequency. Gold carry a high level of frequency. You know? It's not just... When you put on gold chains, it's not just... Oh, I, I like the way this look. Why do gold make blue like this? Why do gold, diamonds, crystals, enrich uh, material make us feel a, it's, it's a certain aura with us? You know? You have to ask yourself. Now that means look up the science. And I'm going to put up the science right here to show you that diamonds, gold, crystal, even, but more so crystals and, and, and gold carry energy, carry frequency. So even when we always speak about the ancestors, a lot of y'all niggas is not even dressing like them. You know, kings have big ass earrings. Had ta a lot of these people had tattoos. I get into that on another video. I'll probably throw some images up here. You know, so that's all I'm saying, man. We can kumbaya, we can sage, we can meditate, we can do all these amazing things, tarot card readings, all these things. Until the streets get a hold of this knowledge, it's not going to be as beneficial as we as we think it's going to be. You know, and I'll be honest, not everybody cut to sway and teach the youth in the streets it take a certain level of a uh, pizzazz it's take, it's take a certain level of a uh, of intellect wittiness charisma and it, it's gonna take the look you know the youth gonna look like they gonna be more prone to a person that look like them versus a nigga with a suit i'll make a whole nother separate video on there's no history of black people really wearing suits and shit. There's really no history of us even wearing shirts and shit like that. We always had our shirts off. Now, we have to also understand a little quick little history lesson. We also have to understand that the little things that we do that enhance us is demonized. People are always saying, put some clothes on, especially for God. Well, put a shirt on. You, go to, you can't go to an interview now with your shirt off. But why did Egyptian kings... Whether you was a king in Ethiopia or Egypt, because Ethiopia and Egypt is, is twins. When they went to their meetings, um, you know, to deal with other organizations or, you know, other civilizations, they had no shirts on. Now, was they dripped out? They had gold. They had certain, ar you know, garments and, and certain accessories to where it would be, you know, prestige in that time. But niggas stay with their shirts off. Niggas stay, you know, iced out. There's no reason why we can't explain why do, especially the South, why do so many of us have grills? It's not just a look. It's a feeling to give us, man. It's a frequency there. Now, what they have done is they have reversed. And, I'm, and I made a previous video. I'll probably upload before I upload this. They have reversed a lot of warrior attributes that every man should possess. Fuck just black. But when it comes to black men, they have reversed it and demonized it. So a lot of us stay away from it. You know, most intellects I know, they don't they don't wear jewelry because they have they have a, a they have a mindset in a, in, in, a, in a certain connotation that jewelry. And I feel I ain't gonna lie. When I was younger, I ain't used to wear jewelry. None of that. Because I used to believe the concept of, oh, why billionaires don't wear jewelry and all the black entertainers wear jewelry and they don't. They, they not making it, nigga, because jewelry don't do what it do for other races of people. I'm just be honest. That's a fact. A gold chain for a nigga in Rome, what well, Romans tried, y'all y'all niggas tried in ancient Rome, ancient Greece, y'all niggas tried, but it it don't it it doesn't do what it do to other people. What it do to us, 
So even when people be saying like, oh, I don't want tattoos or I don't want locks or I don't want, I don't want to wear jewelry. Y'all niggas is lost. Y'all niggas lost as fuck. Because y'all letting these people reverse y'all out of y'all own spirituality. You go to every civilization, even to this day, especially when you talk about Afrocentric, man. Bones in their noses. Earrings. The big uh, gauges. Even when we see gauges in people's ear, we, we say that's white people's shit. We say that's... Nigga, that's your shit. Way before there was a white man, an Asian man, or any of these different groups of people, shout out to them, there was a black man doing these things. You know, we been had our nose pierced. It wasn't no homosexual shit to it. We been rocking jewelry. You know, it wasn't no, oh, I'm a slave to my record label. No. Now, I can say we do need to prioritize certain things, but I'm, I'm going to tell you now, you get jewelry, you get certain things, that's a starter kit. Now, what we have to do is this. We have to be able to be smart and have that, 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 intuition and know that some of our brothers and sisters is going to do certain things and behave certain way because you have these things on, you know, you see what I'm saying? But anyway, I just wanted to make this video to let y'all know the, the essence, the core of this whole awakening shit is start with a, a, a warrior mentality, you know, you niggas that still want to soft-spoken, sit up straight when a white person come come by. This this video ain't for you. Some of my other videos might be, but this damn show ain't for you. This is this is simply for um, dudes that's out here. You might not be as woke as me. You might not know certain words that I that I know. You might have you not you might not be um, well diverse as me, but you have a word spirit that nobody else possess. You just have been tricked and you just have been bamboozled and you had just been strayed away from um, really exercising your true powers because people have told you that gold, earrings, locks, um, you know, having a whole bunch of women around you is something negative, which is not. Kings always had multiple women around them. You know, me personally, I've always thrived around feminine energy. Because I'm so masculine, I'm going to need that balance of a whole bunch of feminine energy beside me. But anyway, I just wanted to make that video quick. I'm tired, of course. But I love y'all, man. Um, I keep y'all updated on my brother and everything. But, you know, we don't we gonna, we gonna continue this, man. I love y'all. Y'all continue y'all three brains up here, right here. Larson tested. More videos on the way. Lectures. Vlogs, all that. But I'm gone. I love y'all. Salute. Peace. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome to the Great Awakening. Great Awakening. Yeah. Welcome to the Great Awakening. Yeah. And welcome to the Great Awakening. Yeah. Yeah. They say we in the last days. Say we in the last days. But really, this a new age. Really, this a new age. They say we in our last days. But really, this a new age. Really, this a new age. Say we in the last days. But really, this a new age. Great awakening where everybody faking it A lot of niggas rapping but nobody saying shit I'd rather drop the knowledge now 